All right, welcome back to the Everything Property Podcast. For the first time in uh, however many episodes, I haven't prepared any show notes and I haven't prepared an introduction because the guy I'm interviewing today, he needs none. I worked with him. I met him. We are just talking nine years ago on a weekend job when he was only... 14 years of age. He's now 23 and he's bought his very first home. The reason I've got him on the podcast is to show that anything is possible. Mr. Matty Burnett, welcome to the show. What's What's cracking? (laughs) Good to have you on. Good to have you on. Look, as I I was saying just beforehand and for everyone listening and viewing at home, the average age for a first home buyer is 36 years of age. You are currently now what? 23, but yeah. And what have you just gone and done in the last, I don't know, what is it, six, eight months? Yeah, six months, yeah. Six months ago? Six months, yeah. Just bought your first home? First home, yeah. Whereabouts? Bradbury. How much Bradbury, it cost you? Bradbury, uh, 725. 725. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted to get you on is I wanted to talk to a little bit about, um, I think you have a really cool story and probably how we met and how, you know, this come to be was when you were, we were back working a weekend job. Yeah. You were 14. 14 on the dot, lad. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the, is that the youngest you can be when you work? I think it's 14, nine months, but 14, yeah, 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 a 14, bit early. But <laughs> All right. So we were working together at a, um, shout of the bubble boys. We were working together at a weekend job, but, um, Tell us a bit about what were you doing at the time as well as working that weekend job? I was just young, man. I was, yeah, 14, so year eight in school. And year just, eight? Year eight, but, oh and yeah, just um, yeah, just wanted money. Lad. I just wanted a calf when I was on my own, so yep. I thought, let's just get a job in that, so... Yeah, but and then working on the weekend. Working on the weekend, yeah. So you did the... We, we worked together on weekends and, like, I mean... I could say people won't believe me, but what are the what was like the hours that we were doing off weekends? Crazy man! Give me the, tell like, everyone listening lad, the hours that we were working on that we were doing two days. Lad, probably into oh one day one shift was at least eighteen hours, yeah. seventeen hours, eighteen hours. So I don't even know if that was legal. No, nah, probably not. Yeah, but we'd, look, we're starting at five six a.m. The the job was sort of like in events and stuff like that. We won't go too far into it. Don't want to reveal too much. <laughs> yeah. and, Get the previous employer in trouble, but God, yeah, I don't know if that, that shit was, uh, that was legal. And then a couple of years you're working weekend jobs, saved up enough money to buy your first car? Yeah, that was through bubbling. So, um, yeah, just saved up my pennies, lad, and then that was it. Like, yeah, just when I was on my O's, I just... What was the first car cost? Uh, seven and a half. Seven and a half grand? Yeah, bro. All from working on weekends? All from bubbling, yeah, bro. Perfect. All right, and then I remember we started getting, we started working together when we were chatting. I think I was chewing your ear off about property and, you know, what it can do for, you know, that kind of stuff and sort of uh, pricked your ears up at a very young age. And it, you left school in year 10? No. You yeah. went all the way through to yeah, year 12? Yeah, bro, yeah, year 12. Wow. And yeah. then you done your apprenticeship after? Yeah, yeah. So you did, so you working that weekend job for four years? Uh yeah, eight nine ten to twelve yeah yeah and you're getting your first car so you're saving up the cash you bought the first car yeah what do you do out of school why didn't you wh- why'd you go all the way to year twelve uh, to be honest bro the parties the girls lad <laughs> <laughs> heaps of fun I can't bro. look I can't fault you if you're gonna tell <laughs> you look you're honest honest guy all right you went to year twelve yeah what was the plan for after would you what you want to do during school so I just wanted to trade but the thing like I just didn't know what you know so that's why i stayed like the old man was just like just stay like if you don't know what you want to do then stay so that's what i did mm-hmm. um then yeah out of school because i was working the panel beaters on the weekend as well as well as bubbling yeah so i just thought i'll just continue that but yeah realized it wasn't for me but so yeah because you only got well, how long did you get into the 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 panel being apprenticeship uh, i was nine months or something into it nine months. first year apprentice yeah Bro, i remember when we um when we had that chat and it was like because the, the job that we were doing, we were, um, you, there's a lot of long hours in sort of like deliveries and stuff. So there's long hours in the car where you can chat and stuff like that. Yeah, but I remember yeah. you saying, you don't think panel beating's for you. I don't, no. your parents, I don't know if they were, were they with it? I think they were like, they wanted you to stay in. No, no, no. No, no, no. Dad was like, no, nah, get out of that get trade. Of like, yeah, that's why I went into sparking, you know, because dad's a sparky by trade. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's why I chose that path. But yeah, I definitely knew if, like panel beating was good as a on the weekend job, but for a career, definitely not for me. Definitely. So no, um, no disrespect to any um, panel nah, beaters nah, that are listening. No. Nah. All right, and what were you earning as like an a, a apprentice? <laughs> Nine dollars sixty, seventy something an hour. An hour, but oh. yeah, it was brutal. So what's that a week? Wait, can I do a? 
<laughs> Ten bucks. You're probably working eight hours, eighty bucks a week. Eight to, wow, like four hundred bucks. Four, yeah, four twenty, fifty, something oh, like that. Yeah. But at that age, you still managed to save quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, but I was right? still putting away a bit, like, and what I could uh, put away, I was doing. Like, I mm-hmm. still wanted to have my life and go to the pub on the weekends and that. Mm-hmm. So I was still doing that, but I was saving at the same time, you know. Yeah, because so. then you get your, you went into electrical apprenticeship. I think the pay got a little bit better. So much better. I was getting what a fourth year panel beater was getting in the first year, you know. So. Wow. But still, I mean, first year yeah, apprentice still, was It's still what? shit, but <laughs> I was, I was what, 18, 18 an hour. 18 an hour, yeah. so you're making, what, 700 bucks a week? Yeah, give or take, yeah, some of that. And then if you do the hours, I don't know what we'll, I don't know what that earn on the weekend, but we're pretty much getting pretty close to that on the weekend, right? As for bubbling? Yeah, weekend job. You're oh, getting, you probably were. I was, yeah. I was on... I wasn't not much as oh, you, Oh, shit, hang yeah. on. I've just exposed this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you because you're a younger, but you're yeah, like but four or no. five and years And I couldn't younger. drive as well. I was just oh, a passenger. So okay, yeah, so you get paid less to be a passenger because yeah, 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 you're yeah. a bit younger. But how do you, how'd you not spend... Look, wow. you you at that age, you're 16, 17, 18. The boys are getting out, yeah. um, you know... Yeah. Getting on the drink, you know, cars, all that kind of stuff. I, I think I threatened you at one point that if you're going to buy a 78 Series Land Cruiser, <laughs> I come to your house and, you know, beat some common sense into you. But uh, what was like, how would you keep your costs so low? Uh, to be honest, bro, like, um, I don't know, just because I knew I, like my, my goal was... What was your goal? To buy a house, bro. Yep. That's what I wanted. I already had my car, so I was like, this is the next step in life. So that's what I did. But I don't know, but I just had the willpower, like, you know, not buying food, like takeaway, this, that, and the other. So, but mind you, I was still getting on the drink with all the boys, bro. Like, enough to get by. That I just, I was just smart about what I spent and mm-hmm. how I spent it, you know? So, do you think as well, because, yeah, you, you had like a weekend job, you're able to put away like, yeah, six, bit more than the four, people. Bucks. Exactly right. And mind you, all the boys had dropped out at U10. So they were, Earning in like my, more money than me, so mm-hmm. I was just like, ah, oh, I can still save. It's all good. Like I still come yeah. out and have fun and that. So okay, yeah, but it's they call that lifestyle creep. So when like when you get paid more, then you start spending more. Then like you're really just saving the same amount of money. You just yeah, spend yeah, more, yeah. Spend more, spend more, spend more. But I mean, if you're getting as an apprentice, you're getting about seven hundred bucks a week. How much of that were you actually saving? Uh, probably, I'd say I'd like to say five hundred. Matt, like yeah, five hundred. Sometimes mm-hmm. four fifty depends on. What the weekend was, but yeah, minimum four hundred. That's it. Yeah, four five hundred save a week. Save yeah. So yeah. you spent you're saving between nine and a thousand a fortnight. Yeah, yeah, easy. That's what my goal. Like on a fortnight, I wanted to save at least nine hundred bucks. So wow. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, if bro. someone at your age. Yeah. You got what 150, 200 bucks to go to alcohol and fun and that was enough for me, bro. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you are you are um you are working at home. Oh, you are living at home with your parents. Correct. Still. At that time, yes, hundred percent. So that's why I wasn't yeah, no rent, no nothing. It was just board, phone, gym, that was it. And so. you're paying board to your parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you jump into a uh, second year apprentice, what sort of um what sort of pay bump is that for the extra for a uh, four dollars, I think. An hour. an hour, so yeah. Uh, so, so what's that next year? 150 bucks a week, up to 850. I don't know, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I believe that. Yeah, something like believe that. Believe me, <laughs> <laughs> you were getting paid, it, bro. Not me, not me. All right, and then um, you've done your apprenticeship for three years. Uh yeah, four. Four, four year, years. four year apprenticeship. Yeah, fully yeah. qualified now. Fully qualified. Yeah. You still doing any work on the weekend? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah still okay. here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some some odd jobs and, and that yeah. around the house. Yeah, you come over to my place the other day with a chainsaw. That's Matt's it. good with a chainsaw. If you need a tree cut down, <laughs> yeah, you'll be able to do it. And talk to me about um, and then the buying home process. You meet Nicole, your lovely partner. You get engaged. Yeah, you want to find a you want to find a house. How much do you have saved? Do you remember sort of roughly your savings goals and where you're at on what? Uh, what point in time, like yeah. leading up to the house? Yeah, leading up to the house. Leading up, so yeah, was, saving was going good. Like bro. What are you saving? What do you think you'd save a year? Like ten grand, twenty grand? Wouldn't have a clue. Wouldn't have a cl- Mind you, this was I was a fourth year when I bought the house. So yeah. up until then, yeah, I was putting away I think seven hundred a week, something yeah. like that, saving. Wow. Um, seven hundred bucks a week. Something like that, yeah. I was doing crazy hours and that, you know. So That's wild, bro. Yeah. Oh, so, so you work o- o- over time? Heaps of OT bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, heaps of weekend, like possessions and that, shutdowns and yep. heaps of all that. So Taking as much as you want, taking as much work as you can, saving yeah, all that Yeah, for sure, money. but yeah, 100%. Are you still, have you done any travel? Yeah, we went to the Philippines last year. Uh, okay, how yeah. much is the trip to the Philippines? Uh, I think cost us six grand all up, five grand, six grand. Each? 
No, 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 all up. All up. <laughs> Cheap, bro. Together. Yeah, yeah, bro. Gee, yeah. you might have to trip, book a trip Cheap, to the Philippines. Yeah, I met the rest of her family there. No, yep. So, yeah, it's good. It's okay. Yeah. And then how much did you have saved when you went? You're 23 years old. You had how much saved? Well, I had, at 22, I had, I was over 70 grand there saved, yeah. $70,000. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. How tempted were you to buy, like, a uh, <laughs> 73, 78 but series Rand uh, Don't get me wrong, lad. The cruiser. temptation was there, but, yeah. um, no, nah, I knew I wanted the house first. Why? But, why? Why not a house? Why not a nice car? Because you go to the pub with all the mates, <laughs> you know, with the boys in today. When nah. you go to the pub and rock up, you can flex on. Um, no, nah, I just, I just wanted to um, be set, like set me and my missus up for you know the future and that you know. So I knew it wasn't gonna come easy, but thought if I can get into the market now, like the rest will come. You know what I mean? Like the house and the, uh, the sorry, the car and that will come and that. It's easy. So just yeah, hold yeah, just keep holding on. And it'll come eventually, but you know, so. <laughs> Okay, cracker. And when did, when did the talk to me about the? Was it difficult to get a loan? How'd you go about looking for pricey houses? To be honest, um, buyer's agent, anything like that. Yeah. So I went. So uh, about two years before we bought the house, I went myself uh, to try and get a loan in that. Mm -hmm. And like it was a decent amount, but what are we talking? It was like five fifty or something. But fuck, not bad by myself. But yeah. I was like, ah, uh, you know, it's something a bit shitty in that. So I was like, nah, nah, I'll just. Knuckle down for a couple more years and then we'll yeah. see how we're going. And then, um, yeah, and then Nick, uh, sorry, my partner and I, like, we were serious about it. So yeah. I was like, we'll um, start looking and that. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, bro. So, so another another two years after that? After that, bro, yeah, two years. And then, um, By yeah. that stage, you've you went from, like, a fourth year to a, a, a qualified uh, electrician. Does you pay? A, a no, I bought it when I was a fourth year, bro. Bought it when you were fourth? Yeah. So you went from third year or, like, second year to third year then? Or second year to fourth year in those two years. Yeah, correct. So your pay went up even more. Correct. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And what's like? Did you get? Did you when you when you purchased that house? Did you buy? Did you use a hundred percent of the borrowing capacity that the bank would let you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 We did. You used a yeah. hundred percent. So the yeah. bank. You you said you purchased it for seven twenty five. Seven twenty. <laughs> so you, you purchased it for seven twenty five. So yeah. basically, that's what the bank the bank said. Um, that's exactly what we're going to give you. That was you, and then your missus had. Um, yeah, your she, partner had finished uni. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put well, so. you both together on a loan. Yeah. What about all incentives and all that stuff? Did you cash in on it? Yeah, bro. Yeah, we got all the first home buyers grants and all that. What was it like? Five percent deposit we only needed without yep. paying LMI. Wow. This, that, and the other. We got capped on the stamp. Judy? Yes, then So Judy we didn't yeah. pay annual land tax or whatever. I don't know yeah, the yeah, yeah. lingo bar, but... Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got capped on the stamp duty, so saved heaps on that. Yeah, bro, I've saved a lot of money from using all that shit, so yeah. Did you have any money left over for, like, renovation? Yeah, but yeah, still had a bit left, lad, yeah, yeah. What's the... What was, like, the quality of the houses in? Did it need any work, or...? It was cracker, lad. All right, so if no one can... We can't see the house, right? But yeah. paint us a picture of... What size block, what type of house and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, so I think it's a five five eighty, eighty, ninety block. Yep. Corner five block. Five ninety. Uh five eighty, ninety. Five eighty. Big Something. size block. Yeah, corner block. Why didn't you go, um can I ask you, why didn't you go into like the new house in the States? Did you look at them? No. Why? Open the window, bro, and touch the neighbour. No, I wasn't yeah, going to do that, lad. I wanted, good lad. I wanted my own established house, bro, you know, so. Yeah. And, and that was purely the only reason that you, you wanted that was so you had a little bit more room. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you didn't want to buy any of the new housing estates because yeah. they're all too close together and it's just not my scene. I wanna you I wanna be able space. to mow my lawn lad, you know, I want a proper lawn. I don't want some shitty little lawn and that, you yeah, know. Okay. So um but yeah, five eighty seven block, um three bedroom house. Uh corner block, you said. Corner, yeah, <sighs> three better. Uh one and a half bath, yep. um double car garage, like like double car garage. Yeah, I know what a double car garage is. No, nah, but it's not like double, it's like Lake. Tandem, yeah, that's the yeah, one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, yeah, backyard and that is cracker, bro. So, yeah. Right, and you got a bit of a setup. Do you do any? You do any work when you moved in? You probably done some electrical yeah, but, uh, work, right? All the electrical lad did all the power, all the lights. Uh, we built the garage. Me and a chippy mate. Yep. Built the garage. Um, yeah, bro. So it heaps, eh? Hey. Put the garage, garage door on and that. So. And, you, and you used all you say like. All the savings had a bit left over. I oh, still got heat. Yeah, still had a fair bit left really? over because so I did all the work myself. Like. All the work yourself, but you still didn't have to use that full seventy-five grand. No, nah, no, no, no. Wow. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. So if you paid, if you seven twenty-five, you probably paid what thirty-six, thirty-seven grand deposit. You yeah. cap. You're probably only in at what forty grand or something. 
Oh, I can't remember can't now. Remember. I can't remember figures now, but something like that. Like, oh, not bad. Yeah, it was pretty good, bro. Yeah. What advice would you give to young people listening like you that are like twenty or twenty three? Like you, you're twenty three. You're probably the first, your youngest person I know that's bought their own house. Yeah. Okay. As twenty three, but what advice would you give to someone that's twenty three or twenty or seventeen? Yeah. That's sort of like you. That's thinking. I'm thinking about buying a house. I want to do it. What do I need to do? I don't know, but just like if you've got a goal, just knuckle down and stick to it. Eh? Like you know. Just work hard, but a good work ethic will get you a long way, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, yeah, I didn't go to uni, but I wasn't the good. I wasn't the best person in school, nothing. But <laughs> good work ethic and that, but I got me where I am now, you know. Yeah, so you worked hard. You even uh, in your apprentice, you still doing, still doing weekend work when you're in your electrical apprenticeship. Yeah, just here and day. there, just, just, and, and then you sort of phased out because yeah. you're doing some electrical. Yeah, work. but that, just knuckle down while you're young, I suppose. Like, yeah, yeah, young, you may as well. Did you split up and have? saving goals like did you go i want to get to 50k or i want to get to 10k yeah, or yeah. did you just say 900 bucks a week has to go to savings no no, no. i wanted to get to 78 i don't know why 70 was the number but mm. 70 was the number so i just wanted i wanted to look at log onto my account and see 70 grand saved there and, and how long how often you check your bank when you're saying uh, well, i just i was so happy when my pay come in i was like heck do you can transfer this much in you yeah. know and i was to get me jitty i was like <laughs> cracker you know all right, and what's the what's the goals next in terms of next? You, what what you've done, and I don't even think you know that you've done it is the value in commer- the value in residential property is in the land component, right? The house that's on every block depreciates; it gets older, it wears. You need to replace it. The house the house actually decreases in value. It's the block of land which yeah. increases in value, right? So yeah. the fact that you've bought established and five hundred eighty square meters, it's almost double the size of. It's two. It's almost two blocks in those new housing estates. So yeah. you're on five eighty, five ninety square meters, which is incredible. In a little pocket in Bradbury, just um, next to Cameltown, you got the hospital that's there. Mm-hmm. You got the train station. Yeah, not too you far. You got a Westfield size shopping center. Yeah, not too far. Yeah. So yeah. look, that's um, and what property prices are predicted to to do over the next twelve months. I think anyway, with potentially interest rates coming down a little bit. Um, you start to see that thing go up in value. What's the plans? Is it is it you happy? Save up your cash. You looking to buy the car? More properties. What are you thinking? Um, I would like to buy more property for sure. Like I would like to have it. I'd love to have another one under my belt. But I think our next milestone, as um, um, me and my missus, is we want to get married. So yep. have that, and then. Um, yeah, maybe like treat ourselves and go on a holiday or something, and then we'll look into it and knuckle down again. You know. How long have you been engaged for? Uh, over a year now. Okay, why year. didn't you just get married before buying the house? Why didn't we get married? Yeah. Before? Oh, just because. But I was like, this is a this is like the perfect opportunity. I was like, we can't let this slide. You know. So to buy the house. Hundred percent. I yeah, was like, I think a lot we of could drop get, we yeah. could drop you know seventy k on a wedding and yep. then invite half the people we won't even speak to ever again, or we can have this for. Me and you, yep. I know you pick. You know, so that's a so. that's a good point because I think a lot of people. It's it's really weird. I see it at the moment as well. Is that a lot of people are kind of like they want to get married and uh, have kids and stuff like that. But I mean, like a, a house. When you think about it that's as right. an investment, like Nick's not going anywhere. You're engaged, or that's like right. even if you're together, yeah, you know, you aren't going anywhere. Well, let's get the house. Hundred percent. I wanted to get that out of the way before any big miles like kids and that yeah like, okay so get yeah. the house purchase out of the way and it's just building in value yeah and then and then we'll build together you know we've got that under our belts now yeah. we can build together you know so well that house only you only need a year where i mean house prices they grow typically you know every double every seven to ten years but i mean if you've got ten percent worth of growth in a year that's your wedding paid for that's seventy thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or five percent shocking year, thirty five grand in a year. So like, pretty phenomenal what you've done to think about it. Yeah. All right. So next is the wedding, and then maybe a few investment properties and stuff after that. I'd love to. Yeah, that's that's my plan. Yeah. So keep okay. her keep her happy. We get married, and then yeah. uh, that's it. Yeah. Tick that box. Maybe kids or not. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> not anytime oh soon, bro. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> perfect. I I've known you since okay. you were fourteen. Yeah, you're twenty three. You're only twenty three now. You've just bought your first time. Yeah. Do you have any regrets? Um, going to year twelve. Really? Yeah, bro. Hundred. Like okay. it was fun at the time and young and this that, but bro, the money I could be making now than if I had a dropped out, like 
crazy. So really, that's why I look another bit of advice there. If you know what you're gonna do, just no point going to your twelve bar, drop out, get a trade. But like. you listen, you listen to your parents though, because your parents are like, stay in if you don't know what you want to do, right? They was gonna support me regardless of what decision I chose. So it was just me not knowing what I wanted to do. Yeah, they were more than happy if I dropped out of year ten, you know. So and are you happy with being a, a Sparky? Loving it, absolutely. Really? No regrets there. No regrets there at all. No, nah. no. Nah. Love it, bro. Yeah. Cracker. All right. Well, look, it's good to see you, bro. Appreciate you coming in. No worries, uh, it was good bro. to have a chat. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually really, um, I'm glad that you got this property purchase out. We talked about it so long ago, and I remember just like we check up. You remember I check up and I'd say like, "Yo, what? How you going? How's your savings going?" Yeah, and you bro. send me a screenshot of like, "I'm at 15. I'm at 20. I'm at 30. Yeah, I'm yeah. putting away like, bro." And I'll be honest with you, I've got mates that I'm a little bit older, more older than you, but. I know people that probably earn significantly more amount of money than as what you get as coming out as first trade. Like they've been in their, their company or their role for five years, six yeah, years, yeah, seven, yeah. eight years. Bro, and you're probably putting away more money per week crazy. than them. Yeah, so it is it is pretty crazy now. But, I mean, with mortgage repayments and stuff like that, I don't know. No, it's not the same anymore. Yeah. How'd you find that, huh? Interest rate rise. Yeah, you probably tough. never paid attention to interest rates and interest nah. rates rises, the <laughs> RBA. Nah. Didn't know any of now that I shit. Now I do like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, But yeah, now like the savings isn't as good, but yep. I'm still, if I can put something away, that's better than not putting anything away, you know what I mean? So. Mm. Do you know what your repayments like drop down to if interest rates say go but go back down to like three percent? Have you ran the numbers nah, on? No. Nah. Oh, you're in for a good time, man. Yeah. I think if you can get in the market, best time to buy, I think when the interest rates are high. Yeah. Because once they come down, everyone goes, Oh, I can get more money, I can borrow more, I can jump into the market. If everyone's jumping in the market, that's what causes prices to go up. Yeah. Amongst other things, but like the fact that you can get into the market, I think, with like a six percent interest rate, yeah. your loan, your your purchase for seven twenty five, so your loan was six eighty or six ninety. Yeah. Um, I think if if you can afford that now at a six percent interest rate, then once interest rate drops, bro, yeah, happy days, oh, happy yeah, days, yeah, yeah, yeah. start saving a bit more coin. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's um, it. It's good to hear, man. Um, we'll stay in touch. Can't wait to see what else you come up with. But too easy. Appreciate you coming out, no jumping worries. on everything property podcast, man. Maddie Burnett, ladies and gentlemen.